Welcome to the COP TV, the voice of football's most famous stand. AGT, the final fan cam. Who are we here with today? Cameron. From? Bradford. Cameron from Bradford. Uh, talk to me about the game. Disappointed. I wanted to win. We've come away with the draw. Is there a little bit of taste in your mouth? There was a little bit of booze at the end of the game. Not obviously because for the manager or anyone like that. It was just more frustration more than anything. Uh, I didn't think we played badly, to be honest. I think we deserved to win, but it's one of them, innit? You'll take the point. It's another title contender in Chelsea. What can you do, really? Well, what you can do is, is try and break down their solid defence that they put up, which was already solid, but when they go down to 10 men, that four-man defence, it becomes a five-man defence. They bring on Kovacic, who, let's face it, is a defensive midfielder. Jorginho is there. Conte is there. So although there were obstacles for Liverpool to overcome, I still think we had enough in us to win. And, and listen, if the ball bounced a bit kinder for us in the, in the box, there was a few scrappy chances where no one could get their foot onto it. We could be talking today about a 3 or 4-1 to could, Liverpool. We could have been, yeah. I think second half, we were on top of the game, obviously, but... Ball just didn't get in the net, you know what I mean? Sometimes we struggled, but it's one of them, isn't it? You struggle against 10 men sometimes, what can you do? Why is that, do you think, that teams struggle so much against 10 men when they've always got someone on them, you know, 11 v 10? I just think with Liverpool, going forward, obviously, all those forwards, they're, they're quite small, aren't they, do you know what I mean? It's, I just think we need a bigger man up top for the last few minutes. Would you have put Origi on? I didn't mean, he wasn't even on the bench, but we had Tony Coppite here earlier saying it was the kind of game where maybe an Origi was needed to go up there and have a fight with Rudiger, basically. Yeah. Origi, don't get me wrong, he, he scores important goals, you know what I mean? Sometimes he can up do well. Up the fucking Reds, eh? He can do he can do well at times, but I just think we need a big man up front at certain times, you know what I mean? And you heard it there, he wants to sign Christian Benteke back to Anfield. No. No, no. no. Okay, that's that's that then. Cameron from Bradford, have you travelled down today? Are you going back up? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've got a coach home at three in the morning. We're getting that. Three Na in the morning? Na National Express. I mean, other coach companies are available, of course. Um, why are you that's getting one of the three? That's not, that's not an advertisement. It's just... Well, it will be soon. Ho hotels were expensive. It's just one of them. Which hotel was it? All of them, they were like 300 <laughs> quid. So, National, National Express it is. What can you do? Yeah, exactly. Listen, safe trip up to Bradford. Get home safe, mate. Nice one. Will do. Nice one. See you on the COP TV very soon. Take care, mate. All the best. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just before you go, don't forget, give us a like, drop us a comment, and subscribe to the COP TV. The voice of football's most famous stand.